Tough as Nails episode two. Last week we saw Lynette as our first person to be knocked out of the competition, but she doesn't go home. She still gets to compete in the team competitions. So she'll have an opportunity to bank a little bit of cash. Uh, this week was really all about cars. Uh, none of our contestants are really car experts. We saw that there was a few that have experience with cars, but uh, I like that most of these challenges are at least trying to be in areas that one of the contestants doesn't do full time. Uh, so we started off with the team challenge. Savage Crew going head to head against Dirty Hands and the challenge was take a, a car, dismantle it into parts and put those parts into a box. Uh, this challenge was really just dominated by one person and that is the 61 year old roofer Lee. He grabbed that Sawzall and just went to town on that car, sawed through every, every part he could, and his team just loaded that thing up in the box. You know, it was barely in there, but they got it in there. Uh, I found that very interesting. You know, really, it was just Lee on the power tools, sawing through whatever he could on the car, while the other team had multiple people on power tools, Seemed like they were working together not bad, but they just could not keep up to the pace Lee set. And then all Lee's team really had to do was lift those chunks of car, chuck them in the box, and that was another two grand in each and every one of their pockets. Uh, this was, uh, you know, like I said, this was just all about Lee. Uh, he is, he's the guy with the most experience in a scrapyard and it really showed in the first challenge. Our second challenge, we switched over to individual challenges and this one was kind of interesting to watch. Uh, all 11 of our remaining contestants had to go out into the scrapyard, find a car with an alternator, rip that alternator out, and bring it back. Pretty simple, right? Well, the, it was a real mixed bag, you know. We saw certain people kind of know what kind of cars to target. They were all saying, you know, American-made cars have the alternator on top, so that's what you want to focus on. Those will be easier, easier to get out. And most of our contestants just sprinted to a car and started to work. You know, we saw, Danny and Lewis and Callie all, and Tara all just latch onto a car and start ripping. And then we have Lee. All of a sudden he realizes that everyone beat him to the good cars. So he goes waltzing off into some other section of, of the scrapyard to the more difficult cars to get the alternators out of. Uh, another interesting person here was Michelle. You know, she's like five foot nothing. We see her, she's got like two tires stacked up and a box that she's standing on, trying to get at the alternator. And she just keeps on trucking and she does not stop. Meanwhile, Murph is just casually walking around the lot and everybody's thinking, you know, what is he doing? Everybody else is ripping and tearing Everybody else is getting those nuts and bolts off of the alternators and Murph is just going out for a casual stroll, you know, just chilling out. And all of a sudden he spots a car, alternator sitting on top, one bolt attached. He does a couple twists on that bolt, <laughs> rips the alternator out, first place. And not only does Murph win, but he actually is going to get a challenge or an advantage in next week's challenge. So that little casual stroll could pay major dividends for a Murph. So we start to have other people come in. Danny's coming in, Lewis is coming in, Lee makes it back, Miles is racing in, uh, and we're kind of uh, kind of left with uh, 
Melissa, Linda, and Young. They're the they're the final three. They're they're struggling to get their alternators out. And we see Linda, she just abandons all hope and she starts adapting the Murph philosophy, starts wandering around the lot. And she ends up right back beside where everybody turns in their alternators and she pops the hood on a car and boom, a glorious alternator just sitting right there. She hops up on the car, does a couple cranks on the bolts, rips that alternator out and she takes the final spot, sending Melissa and Young to the elimination challenge. You know, Young was in the elimination challenge last week he handily beat Lynette, and he was up against tough competition today. Melissa was initially one of my, my favorite contestants out of all the contestants. I thought that she looked like uh, definitely one of the strongest women and absolutely one of the strongest competitors in the whole competition. And it was not looking good for Young. Melissa got out to a huge lead. And their challenge was stripping a tire off of a rim, just using basically hand tools and a grinder. She was like a full tire ahead. They had to do three tires. She's like a full tire ahead, gets to her final tire, and her box cutter got dull to the point that she could not cut the tire anymore. And it was just struggle city. And we all just had to sit and watch as Young just kept going, slowly caught back up, and eventually passed Melissa to get his second elimination challenge victory. So that's Melissa, our second contestant who is out of the competition, but will be sticking around for those team competitions. And there was a little extra layer of bad news for Melissa as uh, they announced that next episode they're heading to the farm to do some challenges and of course she's a farm girl and that's just got to be heartbreaking you know you j was so close you just couldn't get that alternator out couldn't get that fire final tire off the rim and she is done uh, so far I've really been enjoying this show it's very competition heavy you know we're not getting we're not getting many side interludes about everyone's backstories and how they're all getting along like little bits here and there but really this is boom 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 contest 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 and it's been been pretty enjoyable to watch thus far all right that is going to wrap up episode two I will be back soon with episode three in my final catch up here. All right, we will see you all later.